This is a period of unconventional learning. Make sure that you know that this is a safe environment. I'm Sergio Trujillo, district manager from Fort Lauderdale. Janice, I'm from Bossier City, Louisiana. And I'm Barbara from California. I'm Kristen from Mall of America. Emily from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm Agatha from Austin, Texas. I'm a single mom, I have three kids. I've had a lot of things happen over the last month. And I called my father in a panic and said, I, I don't think I fit here. He said, stop, Sharon, listen to this. You're only as smart as the ground you grew up on. In a recent visit, when Vicki came to the store, Vicki asked, how is this going to be different? They stood at the front of the store, and Kristen said, it starts with me. Every December, I fire myself. Because you can't, you have to be able to say, if I walked in here for the first time, what would I do? And you just walked in and didn't know all the barriers that were around, you would probably make a, uh, make a change. Your team has been given a theme and a question. You're going to be reflecting on that theme and using the question to decide on a story to tell. You'll explore ways to translate your story into visual images. Don't overthink it. Try to get back to how it was when we were children and art was about play. I did not come in expecting to do an art project based on my feelings about a question. What am I gonna say? Oh, it was coming and drawn and it stick people. Like, this is gonna be so embarrassing. I need to get on a plane and go home. I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta, I gotta come up with something. Memory. If you could keep one memory from your life, what would it be and why? Yeah, I had a lot of anxiety going into it because I have anxiety when I don't know what's gonna happen. Take us out of our comfort zone, we all have that insecurity with everyone. Our customer model right now is listen, connect, inspire, and we apply that to the customer experience, but you know, really, we've not applied that to ourselves. sounds around you. Open your eyes to what's above you and what's below you. I thought to myself, as a leader, what's the root of how I lead? I think that we have to start with what's inside us and what makes us happy on the inside before we think about the exterior. We'll talk about my mother and my father and where I grew up and that all of that really impacted me. Things that I had seen and lived by every day of my life and one day they were gone. She said, if you take this job, you'll break my heart. You know, I made this commitment about being here now when, at that time, my mom needed me to listen. When one person cried, we all cried. <laughs> when one person was happy, we were all happy. The DM group was a whole other story. I think it took us a longer amount of time to get to a place of openness. You're here with the top district managers, so um, to allow them to see your vulnerability is pretty big. I mean, I think as soon as Ursula start digging deeper and asking more and more questions, I think that's where we realized that it wasn't going to be about work. I just told her that I would take care of my sister and my brothers and for her not to worry. You can see us starting to build that relationship. What I did not expect was the connection that I would have with some of those top leaders. And I felt like I grew from that. Now I'm not dealing with something that's been in the back of my head for the last 10 years. And really, I think the key for me was listening, really listening. You don't realize how ineffective a listener you are until you truly learn to listen. Today is about selection. In one key moment of your story. I remember having a blue couch. Brown couch with a lot of pillows on it. At a river, a fist, and a reflection of the mirror. I see like cabins on the lake. One of the branches that has, that's completely flourished, we put that yellow paper behind it. It was such a cool piece to put things around it. Could be yeah, pretty so cool. Everyone Although we are all individual and we're all different, we really are the same. It made me reflect and think about how my um, interactions with people truly go and where I want to bring that. 
And leadership is developed through the relationships that we create and we maintain and that grow. Without them, I wouldn't be standing here tonight. Once you think about really being inspiring, what does it really take? And I tell you what it takes, it takes authenticity. We have incredible momentum right now in the business. Across the store, the beauty business, the pink business, the bra business, we have a great story to tell and we have a lot of fun doing it with our customers. When will we be written up that we have legendary customer service? And that's what we're on this journey about to learn. When we were cutting out our paper clippings and doing the flowers, we were like, oh my gosh, this is so good for your story. Oh, this reminds me of you. And everybody was helping out everyone else. And it became this whole teamwork. Um, and it was just fantastic to see what one project could do to bring a group of people together. The common thread that binds us are choices. Choices that are confusing, stressful, and sometimes disappointing but neither wrong nor right. It is the road itself that connects us, and the road continues indefinitely. We at times define our life on how change affects us, but seldom talk about how change gives us growth, like many of the flowers used in our pieces. You have many different directions to take, and I feel like the direction that this week took us in is just as important as the stories that we all told to each other. We learned that if you fall hard, you bounce high. Our project represents a continuous journey, a journey that we like to call life. I'm walking away so much richer than I walked in with because of the relationships and the rapport that I built here this week. It was absolutely amazing. This is truly the best place to work. Um, and I just, I am committed to make it legendary. I left a lot behind this week in Sedona. I will be back because there is another great story to tell.